Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Gavin Sandell. Today is the fall equinox. In Latin, this translates to equal night, meaning you'd think we'd have exactly half day and half night, but you're wrong. Let's find out why that is with the first look at what an equinox is. We see it twice per year in the spring and the fall. The one in the fall is called the autumnal equinox and happens during the mid to late stages in September. This year it happens to be on today, September 22nd, and it happens when the center of the sun is directly over that zero degree latitude mark, the equator. And when that occurs, all areas receive the same amount of daylight just because it's projecting right on the center of Earth. But I mentioned around 12 hours. There's a reason and actually two reasons we see that and I'll first show you the daylight cycle that we have across our area it goes all the way from nine hours in winter to 15 hours in the summer and on September 22nd today 12 hours and nine minutes of daylight. So there's got to be a reason or two why we have an additional nine minutes. Let's first talk about how we define sunrises and sunsets because the way that we define them intuitively doesn't really make sense for there to be 12 hours on the equinoxes and sunrise. We define it as when the sun's disk first breaks the horizon and it's the same way for sunsets as well. It's the last time that the disk is uh, at the horizon. It's right before it gets below. So if you look at the graphic right here, you could tell that at both areas, the sun's body is below the horizon. It's a disk, which means it's not just a point. It has a little bit of size. So there's more space to be covered above the horizon than there is to be below the horizon. So if let's say the sunrise, we defined it as if it was in the center of the horizon, there would be equal spaces. So if there's more space above the horizon, that means there's more time for the sun to go on, which would allow there to be more time during the day than at night, depending on how we define it. So now let's talk about atmospheric refraction, and this is something that actually occurs more than you think, and it happens when the sun sets as well. So when the sun travels towards our horizon, it goes through more atmosphere. That's the gases that we have in our uh, atmosphere around the surface. And this kind of changes up the uh, way that we get to see our sun just because more air at the horizon causes light to refract or bend in that case. And this is something that you can see, well, let's say if you put a stick in water or your hand in water, because the density of the water is different than the density in the air, then that changes how we perceive it to the naked eye. So instead of the sun being uh, below the horizon, it actually bends upward and it changes the shape, the color, and the positioning of the sun, which actually allows there to be more time for it to be above the horizon than it actually is. So there has to be a term now where uh, we characterize there to be 12 hours. And when could that be? That's the equal lux. And that happens when the day and night are the same length on a certain day. That's happening this Thursday on September 25th when the sunrise and sunset add to just over 12 hours. And the equal luxes tend to occur just a few days on the wintry side of each equinox, meaning that the next time we'll see one will be all the way in mid-March 2026. For Weather 101, I'm Gavin Sandell.